Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with a brand new build. So I've been brainstorming in my small brain, and I figured out something I want to do in Tiny Town. Now it's going to be like a mixture of something we've done before, but with a twist. Now, do comment below still with suggestions for town ideas, because I do use a lot of those. Uh, sometimes I can't make the idea happen if it's something that's really just out there. But, do comment below with that, and also, if you missed the last episode, we did a siren head. I'll flash it in the top right corner. I was really happy with this build, and we might work on that more uh, in the future. But my idea here today is actually to go back to kind of a tsunami scenario. I know a lot of people wanted to see me do that in the new city, but there's going to be something different about it. So the aliens are back from the last town. They've actually traveled over, and they're actually starting to cause some chaos. They have some sort of device where they can maybe cause some of these disasters, and I think I'm going to have a UFO, and we'll have like the ocean right here on this side. The UFO is going to be pushing the water out of the ocean and trying to wash away a part of the city. I figured this would be a pretty good start to add aliens into this city, and yeah, let me know if you guys uh, like that idea, if you have any uh, suggestions for that idea. I'd be curious as to what you guys think. But anyways, we're going to be doing that here today. If you guys are enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, and let's get building. Alright, so essentially what's going to be happening here, I'm going to say the ocean's going to be here. So, anything that we can build ocean-wise, as far as ports, uh, ships, and all that, will be on this side. And then we'll go ahead and do more city on the other side of the apocalypse area. But, uh, I'm thinking about right here. Uh, actually, let's make this ship a little bit bigger. Okay, so you've got like the beam down below. I picture that like pushing water. So, hold on, let me go ahead and find some ground here. And I'm, I'm going to have to do this in a weird way. But I pictured it in my head and I was like, man, that would be so cool if I can pull it off. So, here's the bottom of the ocean. This is dirt. You're gonna have water being pushed up. This is gonna actually be empty, so we'll put some like rocks, maybe a couple like destroyed boats down here. And the water is gonna be pushing up on the shore here. So I think it's gonna create a really, really neat effect. So I just need to fill this area in with uh, this ocean bottom real quick. Actually, I need this to match up, so. Okay, that's there. So this would need to be, uh, we'll say about right here. Alright, I think I can make this work. This is going to take some work, and this might actually be a, a multi-part series here uh, for this one particular scene, but I think this is going to turn out to be really, really awesome once it's done. Alright, so the beach would be over here. You can see I've added a water block that's going up. This is all going to be covered. This is where the wave's going to be coming in. So, the wave's actually going to be a little weird. It's not going to be like a tsunami wall. It's going to be being pushed from this area, and it's going to be going out like this. So, I think, and how I'm going to do this, I'm going to use a mixture of the little spheres and some of the wall pieces, and we'll try to create, like, it's not going to be a really tall tsunami. It's going to be just now starting and washing through uh, this block here. So, we'll have parts of it underwater. And just picture there would be like a boardwalk, maybe some buildings, and maybe a beach in this empty area. So, we'll have some destroyed stuff like falling over. I think that's how I want to do this. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a bit of a progress update. So, I've been doing quite a bit of building here, and you can see that things have changed. So, this is the ocean floor. You can see some rocks. Uh, you can see some like old ships that were down here. Uh, pretty cool looking, but if I zoom out here, uh, you can see where it's pushing. And it's pushing most of the water this way. We'll have a little bit of bubbling water around here. And then I'm going to actually uh, start to put the ocean blocks around here to where you can see it's merging up. So it's giving that effect that the water is being pushed down and then outward. So you can see here I've started the, uh, the wave. And you can see a ship's actually going up. That ship looks massive, by the way. And yeah, it's going to be smashing into buildings and people are going to be running for their lives. But it looks so awesome. So anyways, I'm going to start building once again uh, I've been really focusing on this water and trying to make it look right uh, that's one of the most important things to me so it's gonna take quite a bit more until I'm happy 
All right, it is progress update time. So I know a lot of people are probably going to be asking like, well, where's the beam that's pushing uh, the waves away? And right now, I don't really have an idea for that because if I were to use, I don't know, say, for example, this cone, this would make a pretty cool looking beam. But the problem is, as soon as you place that down, I, may, I mean, I guess it could stop it there. And maybe it fizzles out and beams that way. But if I were to stick it all the way to the ground, it would block all the cool stuff that I put on the bottom of the ocean. So we're going to stick that there as a placeholder. And we'll see what you guys think. But anyways, I've been working on the wave here. You can see uh, how it's starting to break here at the top. And oh boy, it is not good news for the people of Tiny Town. Uh, which, by the way, I'm still debating on that uh, that name. I'm letting that one video where I asked the name, I'm still letting that video get views and seeing kind of which one is going to be the ultimate top voted comment. So hopefully by the next episode, we will have that name uh, for the city. All right, so for Maritime, we should totally add another ship coming in here. I might move that one I have. Like, I, I kind of want one that's just going to be falling down. Let's use this one. This one always reminds me of the uh, oil tanker in Stormworks. So maybe we'll put this one here. We'll probably have a dock or something or a port uh, on either side of this so we can say the ships were trying to get into port uh, when this happened. But I'm going to put this one more right here. And I want this one, which by the way, the scaling of these, man, something's off. This ship shouldn't be the scale of that building. I think we need to shrink these. Hold on, let's go. That looks a little more reasonable. Let's get a person real quick and we'll set them on top of the ship and see what this looks like. So scale that one down, there we go. So say if we were here with the ship, let's go ahead and grab a citizen of Tiny Town real quick, or we can grab a sailor here. Uh, let's see what they look like, because that just doesn't seem right at all. Okay, no, it needs to be bigger. Uh, that's probably right there, so that's the scaling we need. I think it's some of the buildings. Uh, I'm assuming this is kind of like a lot of different asset packs. Kind of the same art style, but I think some of the things are kind of skewed as far as their size. Alright, so this thing's going to be crashing down. Oh, this could be going through a building. This could look epic. Okay, let's grab some buildings here. So, let's go to town. So, yeah, you'd probably have some, like, condos and stuff like that on the shoreline here. So, let's try to find buildings that might look like they would be, like, a big hotel or condo. Kind of digging some of these. Let's go and grab one of those. Man, there is like a, a hotel looking building. Ooh, some of these might work. Hold on, keep going. That might look like a hotel. Uh, we've got one that's got a red siding. Now this one definitely, these are hotels here. So yeah, we'll use these buildings. So I'm gonna say the force of this wave, since it's being pushed uh, by this beam, it is just extraordinary. So it can knock over buildings. So we'll kind of put some of those condos. Uh, in the middle of this, so we'll poke one here. Maybe we'll poke out one here. Maybe this is the one that got struck by this uh, ship, so we'll kind of put these together. And I'll probably put like an explosion or something here. Ah, uh, that looks good. And then we're gonna place one uh, getting hit by the wave there. And maybe we'll just place this one here on the ground, like it's impending doom. <laughs> All right, that is awesome. So let's go ahead and grab that uh, explosion real quick. I've got that new explosion effect that we have that I got off the workshop. Looks absolutely spectacular. We need more explosions in Tiny Town, by the way. Like, I feel like that would be awesome. There we go. Now, that is sweet. I'm going to relocate this building. I want it on the corner here. I'm going to say maybe there was, like, a, a boardwalk or something right here. So, maybe we'll stick those small shops along a line. Kind of like you would see in, like, California or something. So you'll have like the condos, you'll have the boardwalk, and maybe we'll have like a uh, parking lot or something over here too. Oh, we got a lot of stuff we need to do. Now this might be a multi-part series here. Like I said, depends on how much I get built. Was that a cruise ship? Oh, I forgot about this thing. Oh, you know what? This thing is to scale, I believe, to the people. We use these for like a, a sinking ship episode. Maybe this thing can be in here too. Uh, maybe it was trying to go through. Actually, I think it needs to be shrunk a little bit. But these things are massive. So maybe it's actually getting affected too. It'd be going actually this way. That looks cool. Uh, we'll put this kind of in as a placeholder. Just have it in the scene right now. Uh, but yeah, it's getting pushed over the opposite way. 
Now, if we had that thing crashing into the shore, uh, it would be really devastating. All right, so the boardwalk is uh, currently being developed here, or I guess you could say it's being developed and then demolished. But yeah, we've got that here. There is a tanker about to fly over a building. So could you imagine being stuck here? So this is where, you know, you're out here getting a donut or getting a pizza slice or an ice cream. And yeah, you just look up and go, well, yeah, probably curse word. <laughs> so obviously we got to get some citizens down here. We'll probably have like street performers. So clowns, hippies, because hippies like the beach, like to play the acoustic guitar. Uh, tourist, let's go and grab a couple of these. Uh, joggers, grab some of these. Uh, the poor citizens of Tiny Town. Let's go and grab, you know, these people look like normal everyday people. Hey, maybe there was a barber here, or a shopkeeper. Kind of looks like a barber to me. So we got him. Uh, maybe some police. There's always kind of police on the, uh, the beach, even though most of the time it's like some sort of like lifeguard patrol thing. But I don't think we actually have any of those. Uh, we'll get the Jacksepticeye. I always call this character, I think it's this one here. And that's the way he kind of dresses, and he kind of looks like Jacksepticeye to me for whatever reason. I don't know why, and it probably actually doesn't look like him, but still. Uh, hula dancers or hula girls, and let's get some female tourists. All right, so we have a fairly populated boardwalk now, and as you can see, the wave is starting to swallow up people and cars. So, as you can see, and it's so crazy because this wave is now creating a shadow, over the boardwalk so it's just like boom wave shadow you're just pretty much in shock so yeah you can see we have a clown over here he's running with probably some juggling tools i mean if i was standing here and that clown was running at me i'd probably be a little more afraid of the clown opposed to the wave which by the way you can also see uh the ufo which looks really cool from here so you got that you got people running around people getting sucked up into the wave you got a hot dog vendor he's just pretty much given up he's like you know what I'm going to enjoy this last hot dog here. Uh, people are running around scattering. I kind of added a lot of objects here. You can see uh, benches, trash, a bunch of just decorative stuff to make it look a little more alive. So, of course, you've got all that happening. Now, it wouldn't be a Tiny Town episode if we didn't have uh, everybody's favorite character. And I know what she's going to be doing here today. You know, Oblivious Grandma, she's beyond caring. She's in her golden years. And she's not going to let a tidal wave get her down. So yeah, we're just going to have her. She's going to be over here sitting on this uh, nice bench. She was probably looking at the boats coming into the port. And then all of a sudden the, uh, the UFO showed up. And you know what? She doesn't care. So we're going to set her here. She got herself a slice of pizza. She's got herself an ice cream. She's got herself her purse. And she's enjoying the view. She's like, this is fine. This is completely fine. Which, by the way, I need to add some more detail to the wave. This is what it looks like up high, and it looks so epic up here. Uh, so, let me go ahead and add some more to the wave itself. Because there's a couple areas I'm not 100% happy with. And then, uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the next thing. Alright, so here we are once again. You know, I kind of thought of something. What if the aliens, what if the purpose of them moving this water, you know, it just so happened to create the tsunami... What if they were searching for something on the sea floor? Which, by the way, I know somebody might say this isn't very deep, but you gotta think, uh, the shore is just there, so it, it wouldn't be like really, really deep waters. So, maybe, just maybe they're searching for something, but question is, what would it be? Would it be something related to the grandmas? Maybe there's a secret hidden temple of grandma down there. Or maybe there's one of the old, old UFOs. These are some of the first UFOs we found from the other town. Uh, maybe it would have to do something with that. I mean, we could kind of stick this halfway in the ground there. That looks kind of cool. I don't know. We'll kind of see what kind of backstory you guys come up with. But right now, this looks just amazing. So let's go over here. I've still got some areas to fill out here. And uh, make this look a little bit more complete. But we're, uh, we're getting there. Alright, so I'm trying to make this look a little bit more like a tourist area. So I'm actually going to use uh, several things from uh, other packs. Like these temporary tents from the race packs. Like I feel like this would look perfect out over here. So maybe there's vendors uh, selling stuff for the beach. So we'll have like this here. And maybe this one over here. Then you got some tennis courts back here. You've got a new parking garage with cars on it. So I need to add that. I need to add some more people uh, running. And then of course you got some vehicles. Uh, fleeing the area 
This is actually looking really populated now, and that's what I wanted to focus a little bit more on in the uh, the newer Tiny Town episodes that we do, is trying to make the scenes look just more detailed. All right, so we have some more people running from the beach here. Uh, finally found the lifeguard. You got some people in their uh, swimsuit outfits, and you got people that probably would have been on the boardwalk. So another thing we've got to add, there's got to be somebody hanging on for dear life on this ship. Hold on, let's get the, uh, the captain maybe a couple sailors here so maybe the captain he's just going overboard he's going for it here actually I don't know what he's really going for uh, <laughs> I don't think there's much you can do in this situation but he's there it's going to turn off snapping real quick uh, this guy he's just holding on he's like oh I'm gonna be sick oh place you back up here and this guy we'll have him kind of fleeing up the ship maybe he thinks if he climbs up it he's gonna be fine I will have him hold on to that little rail there that pipe piece Okay, so let's zoom out. That, that's cool. So yeah, there's a, a lot of detail here. You see the people running. You got all the people falling off the ship. Uh, you've got the hotels. We could put even some people on the roof here. Uh, let's go back over here to town. Uh, maybe somebody got up on the roof to go take some pictures. And now they're like, I guess I should hold on up here. There we go. I got this person up here. Add those little details. We could probably even add some more ships out here. Let's go to Maritime. Uh, we have those police boats. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and add a couple fishing ships out here. This probably is a really, really busy uh, harbor area and bay. So we'll add that. Let's get the police boat. Maybe he's going up this. Ah, uh, it's cool. Oh, I even thought of another thing. Maybe there was a diver down here. So let's go to people. There could be a diver. He was just standing there, and somehow he didn't really get affected by it. But now he's just kind of standing on the seafloor going, what just happened? You know, he doesn't really have a facial expression, but we can go ahead and say he's probably a little confused as to what just went on here. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'm happy with the start of this scene. I want to see what you guys suggest. What are the aliens looking for? What else might they be here for? I mean, maybe they don't find what they're looking for down in the ocean bottom. Maybe they go somewhere else. And how also are the grandmas going to respond? Uh, that's going to be a thing. One more thing I just thought to add. I hate doing this. Like I'm sitting there doing, trying to do the end of the episode, I'm like, wait, you know what would look really cool? If we had like a helicopter up here covering the scene, and maybe even like a, another plane flying by too. That would just kind of make the scene look a little more complete. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the series, you guys are amazing, and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town.